up guys, welcome back. Today we're actually going to be opening Sword and Shield and Sword and Shield Darkness of Blades packs. I was able to get these packs five and under or under five, something like that. So I got two booster packs for five bucks, which I thought was a pretty good deal. Cause normally if you go to Target, you usually get just the one booster pack, uh, for example, such as one of these packs for around the same price, but you only get one booster. I mean, you do get these two cards as well as a coin. The more bang for your buck, you get these, Two packs for five bucks, 250 each for these packs. I was a bit suspect about it because of the price. It was pretty low and it was a pretty good deal. I matched them up to some of the previous booster packs I had for Darkness of Blaze. And the packs looked like they matched. The colors weren't off, font looks correct. So I do believe these are officially licensed uh, Pokemon booster packs, but you never know. I mean, the third parties, they get pretty good passing by as legitimate Pokemon cards, especially when you're seeing a price that seems like a very good deal. It might be too good to be true. However, there are some times where their things are on sale, but it also depends on a lot of factors like where are you purchasing them? Did you get these through a reputable store, eBay, or flea market? It's important to pay attention to where you're gonna buy this product to make sure you get an officially official, officially licensed Pokemon cards. Let's get into this. Practice bad boy open. Now I already did another video previously when I opened up a couple Darkness Ablaze packs. I think I only opened up six booster packs, but I got very lucky. I actually got a Charizard VMAC in my last video, which I wasn't expecting that at all. So I'm very excited that I actually got that. Take this wrapper and just throw it over here. These are the two card packs that come in that box. Start by opening up Darkness Ablaze. So we're gonna start it off. Energy. Bloomwood Tangle, Larion, Parasect, Sinistee, Carblast, Meltan, Marani. Now do bear with me. I'm just getting back into Pokemon. I was a huge fan of the first couple of uh, gens, so I was big on the original as well as Gen 2, and even up to Gen 3. Around when Gen 3 happened, outgrew Pokemon. You know, I thought it was too cool. And as I got older, like, I was like, oh, this is still kind of cool. Like, I still kind of like Pokemon, but I never actually, like, keep up with Pokemon. Keep up with all the cards, because they're coming out with so many different sets, there's new Pokemon all the time. There's a lot to keep up on. So I am lagging a bit behind, so I'm trying my best to like get up to date with everything, make sure I'm pronouncing their names right, which is hard because sometimes if I read it, it doesn't seem like that's what it should be. All right, got a reverse hollow. And my last card is a Salmenus V. Not bad at all. All right, next pack. Some of the cards to look out for. Rainbow Rares, per usual. More specific, more. More specifically, Snorlax VMAC, Lapras VMAC, some of the trainer cards, so like Team Yell Grunt. There's also gold cards, Quick Ball, Air Balloon, things like that. All right, we're gonna start off this energy. Lumberry, little birdie guy. Got Vantula, little spider boy. Mark Cactus, Mudbray. Ponar, Score Bunny. Like, this guy looks like a little, like, you would see him as like a Looney Tunes cartoon, in my opinion. Maybe like Bugs Bunny's off brand cousin or something. That's what kind of reminds you of. Nick Hit. And Reverse Hollow is a Sudowoodo. And my last card, uh, non hollow. All right, moving on. So these are the two packs I got. So I'm going to start off with the Darkness Ablaze pack. I'm a code card. I messed up the count. I messed up the card trick. So we're just going to deal with it. Normally, we're starting off with the energy if I did the right way, but I didn't because I wasn't paying attention. My rare should still be the last card. All right, start off with the uh, Pidursta, Pansneer, more low, Wishy Washy, cute fan. Here's my energy, another energy card, Sneer Sneer, Dog Trio, and my reverse hollow, Drag Kozlot. Last card is a non hollow. It is awfully warm. It is so hot out today. It's it's like almost 100 degrees and we're like in October. Like what is happening? It is, it's too dang hot. This should be sweater weather right now and it's not. It's Shorts and t-shirt weather. And I got a psychic energy. But for real though, I'm like sweating. Oh, you know what? I still have my headset on. That's what it is, see what I mean? This is a habit. Every time I'm on my computer, I always have my headset on. Even though I'm not streaming right now, I'm not even listening to anything, I just have my headphones on. Well, I'm taking them off. It's too hot. Moving on. I got a Sea King, an ordinary rod. Just a plain old fishing rod. A BD, Swabble, Mar Maractus, Mudbread, Ponard, Ponard, Pard, Not, na, 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 Ponard. That was ridiculous. Score Bunny. Going into Reverse Hollow. Corvic and Knight. And last card is a Hollow Bolt Down. So far, I only got one full art card. I'm gonna start with just the regular old Sword and Shield pack. Starting this off with an energy. Corvus Choir, Galvantula, Lionon, Ponard. I think I pulled this card in almost every pack so far. Sizzly Pete, Yamper, Clobopus, Kainy, 
Reverse Hollow is a heat more. And last card, ugh, non hollow. Dreadnar. All right, that was kind of a bust. Going into Darkness Blaze. Water. I can definitely use some water because it is very warm in this room right now. I had to shut my AC off and my fan off just so you guys can all hear me. You're welcome. Terrain of Car, Bird Keeper. Soul Rock. Really can't. Sad Fish Boy. Q Fan. Dino. Hand Sneer. Mareep. The Sheep. Snubble. And Reverse Hollow is going to be a Torchic. And my last card is. Oh, I see something. Senti Scorch. Rainbow. Rare. B Max. Look at that shine. This is a great pull. You know, these rainbow hollows are very, very cool looking. I have a couple more packs. So far, this is what we pulled. Hoping to pull at least one more full art. These are our next two packs. So last time I started with Sword and Shield. So now I'm gonna go into Darkness Ablaze. All right, going into Energy. Dini. Dee 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 dee. It's like a beginning of a song or something that you hum to yourself, or maybe just maybe I'm just being weird. Vibrata, Grimer, Clink, Ducklet, Marip, the Sheep, Harass, and my verse Hollow is a Trainer card, Rose Tower, and my last card, ah, uh, non Hollow, Delcaddy. It's okay. So this is my last pack. All right. Let's get into it. Electric Energy. Dottler. Sunfisk. Raboot. Mincinio. Sobble. He looks very concerned. I don't know what he's looking at, but he looks concerned. Blip Blood. Ball Toy. Wooloo. And my reverse hollow. Sea King. The last card of these $5 packs. Uh oh. I see something. Might be good. I see a little bit of that shine. It's an NDD. The color in this card is. I really like the purples and the blues. It looks really great with like the holographic foil. It just makes it pop. Now I'm gonna sleeve this bad boy up. From those four packs of two booster packs, I know it sounds confusing. We got three full art cards plus a rainbow rare. I mean, I think the pull rate is pretty decent. It wasn't that bad. I got some pretty good cards for only five bucks for two booster packs. That's a great deal. And I probably will be buying more of these. Also, can't forget, I have two more packs. Now I bought I bought these packs at Target for actually the same price. They were about five bucks for uh, one booster pack and two cards. These are the two cards that come in the pack. Not really much of a surprise. You see the cards before you buy them. For some reason, these are bent a little bit. I don't know if you can see. I am filming on a GoPro, so it might be a little bit exaggerated, but there is a bend to the cards, which I don't know why it's bent like that. It's probably the way it was packaged. I'm kind of bummed out about it, but it's okay. We got another Sword and Shield booster pack. We're gonna see what we get in this one. Starting out a Psychic Energy. A Sharp, a Trainer card, Pokemon Catcher, Hunter, Krabby, Grokey, Mudbray. I have pulled this card, I think probably four times already. Hoot Hoot, Pinchurchin, that sounds right. Verse Hollow, Blitbug, and the last card, a non holo Sunday Scorch. And then these are the two cards that came with this particular pack. Once again, I don't know why, they have a slight curve to them, which I don't like. Last booster pack. Hopefully we end on a banger, huh? Let's see if we can top our Sunday Scorch VMAX. Buddy Energy, Salazzle, Salazzle, Razzle Dazzle, Robble Robble, By Sharp, another trainer card, a Pokemon Catcher, Sinistee, Wooloo, Shelder, Crogunk, Silly Cobra, you silly Cobra, you. All right, reverse holo trainer card, Poke Gear. Let's see if we can one up our Rainbow Rare Dinoscorch V Max. Nope, we're ending on a Warpico. That was very anticlimactic. I mean, you couldn't even make this guy a hollow. Pretty, this is pretty much what we pulled. I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't too bad. I'm excited about the Rainbow Rare Cine Scorch. That's probably the best poll we had today. And with that being said, thank you again for watching. If you liked the video, please give this video a thumbs up down below. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe to my channel. We also have a new Vivid Voltage set and I will be doing openings for that as well. So keep an eye out and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.